You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Well, it's always good to be here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. We are live at Toyota Center tonight. DC, this is a venue that has been good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight city. People think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked. Some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. Caught the kick. Effective lead right hand there by Gaethje. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, my goodness. Straight punches, true. All right, so we build this as a striker's delight and a good early sign for the boxer getting inside and landing that hook on the kickboxer. Beautiful hook in close. Staying tight so that the kickboxer is very limited with using his legs, but he can always land and turn on that beautiful hook. Good jab by Gaethje. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Such a throw right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, big left hand. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. 25 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Huge block there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, so Justin Gaethje putting on a show as usual, and we feel very privileged to have these seats, but specifically when this man fights, it is a sight to behold. You know, John, we always say stuff like, he's your favorite fighter's favorite fighter. That's true. Everybody is in tune when Justin Gaethje fights. And ultimately, it relies on his ability to stay upright and overwhelm you with the striking. He's at the crowd continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. There's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These <laughs> two young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment, and I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Hooker. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money. Oh, this one could be over soon. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Oh, 
right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel the Hangman Hooker! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment.